House Chairperson, the Honorable Mukachwa, says that the progress made by the ANC government cannot be disputed. But what she leaves out is that the progress that was made post-1994 has since been destroyed and reversed by the same ANC government. Because let us look at the facts. In the last decade, the literacy rate of South Africans decreased. 82% of grade four learners today cannot read. In the last decade, the number of water supply systems which are in a critical state increased by more than 10%. That is not progress. That's the opposite. In the last decade, functioning public hospitals have become completely dysfunctional. That's not progress. People are dying in our public hospitals. The number of households facing food insecurity did not decrease, but increased to more than 17 million facing hunger today. That is not progress. The ANC chairperson does not care about the dignity of ordinary South Africans. Your minds are behind bars. You are stuck in the past. That's all you can talk about. You are stuck there, Honorable Chief Whip, and you do not care that people are today suffering. Today in 2024, people are suffering. Not in 1980, now. And it's because of your inadequacy. It's because of your failed policies. Mother tongue education is disregarded by the ANC government and neglected. Basic access to adequate water supply is disregarded. And a water crisis is looming. The ANC government was warned of an electricity crisis. What did you do? Nothing. You stole more. You stole ESCOM to such an extent that it, the crisis is even more and worse than the opposition predicted. The water crisis, honorable chairperson, is going to be worse than we are today predicting because money is being stolen by municipalities and by cadres which should go to the maintenance of water infrastructure. We have dysfunctioning water systems in South Africa whilst we are a water scarce country. But the ANC does not care. People are suffering because of a lack of basic water supply. The ANC regime neglects public health. They do not care that people are suffering in public hospitals. The ANC regime allows corruption in Enesfas, and then the Honourable Member comes and boasts about the number of students that get bursaries. How many more could have studied if it wasn't for that corruption? We need, we don't need laws to rid this government of corruption. We need a new government. We need a new dispensation where actual human rights are respected and where there's actual service delivery to the people out there, and not a power-hungry and corrupt government. On the 29th of May, South Africans can choose to restore human dignity and restore basic human rights. I thank you.